500,000 BTUs of propane heat. <laughs> yeah. A few months ago, Hayden and I skated on the most perfect ice you could ever see, like black ice, smooth as glass, and I cannot stop thinking about it. I'm trying to create it in my backyard, we got the hockey rink, which is good, I mean, we can skate on it, but we just don't have that perfect ice yet. What we're gonna try to do is get the most perfect glass-like ice, we're talking buttery smooth. I've seen a lot of different ways to make smooth ice online. I'm gonna try a few of those, but I also have one that I think is gonna blow your mind. What I'm planning on to... Hayden, what are you doing? You said buttery smooth, right? Hayden, give me the butter. Butter is one way you could do it. Uh, maybe not the best idea. My idea, I think it's brilliant personally. Uh, you don't need to bring water out here because snow and ice is already water. You just need some heat to melt it. So. I got myself a flamethrower, that's right. We're gonna melt this and see if it freezes again to make that perfect ice. While we're on the topic of building perfect ice, this video is sponsored by, B oh, wait a second. Oh, there we go. This video is sponsored by Built Bar. They sent us a box to try. Hayden, did you eat the last cherry? They have 18 different flavors. They sent us a box. We pretty much crushed the whole thing already. Uh, lots of protein in these, but more on that later. First, let's grab the flamethrower, see if we can make some ice. Propane tank. The torch. Sparky. Yes, and not too much now. Hold on. Safety first, everyone. Woo! <laughs> you feel safe, Hayden? Can I go? Do you think it's gonna work? It looks pretty hot. Yeah, look at this. The idea is pretty simple. Just melt that thin layer of snow and like ice crystals that's on top, and then it'll just refreeze again and forget about bringing the hose out and all that stuff. So let's turn this thing up and let's go. Big brain move here. Got the kid's sled, tank there. Got yourself your own homemade flood bony. Fire, fire bony? <laughs> See if it works. Oh! <laughs> you think my neighbors ever worry about me? Take a look. I, I mean, that is definitely working. It's giving a nice smooth. Layer it might take a little while to do. I'm gonna keep on going. I'm gonna try to take care of some of this uh, thicker stuff around the edges that I just was too lazy to shovel. 500,000 BTUs of propane heat. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, no. no, it. Definitely not a substitute for shoveling. Like it would be way faster just get a shovel and go whoop. But a little more fun. I'll do one section of the ice all with the flamethrower. See how it turns out. It's very satisfying when you have like a nice light scuff of snow and it just, just turns from snow to like nice ice. I mean, it looks nice. This is. That's pretty good. Yeah. Uh, best uh, backyard rink I've seen. <laughs> <laughs> I think this is a legit tactic. It can work. There are some disadvantages. Obviously it works well with a light scuff of snow if the ice isn't too rough. If it's really chewed up though, you're gonna th wanna throw some water down. And uh, also you could explode yourself. So that is one downfall. And it costs money. You gotta keep on getting those propane tanks filled up. So I do think this is a legit solution. The other disadvantage is it takes a little while. Like I'd probably be out here for an hour to get a nice finish. Uh, I want to do something a little quicker than that. So we're going to play with this idea. We're going to move on to another one that I have though. You look like you can use some strength. Mmm, that's delicious. This method is pretty common, but I do have some tips to make it even better. And then after we try this method, I'm gonna show you how to take it to the next level. First thing you gotta do though, is get all the snow off the ice so you don't freeze all these bits all around the edges. Otherwise your ring starts to shrink pretty quickly. Hey, do you see another shovel around you can maybe help out? Nothing? No. 
This method might not be a surprise to anyone. We're gonna put some water on. But there's a certain technique you wanna follow for better results. <laughs> I didn't think you'd fall. <laughs> Lucky you're holding that camera. camera. <laughs> Flooding while it's snowing is a big no-no, but uh, this is film day and it decided to snow while we're filming, so let's get at her. Now the problem is there is some snow on the ice. Ideally there would not be. It will spread a lot nicer that way, but we're just gonna throw in a thin layer, let it freeze, and we'll be good to skate. There are different settings on the hose. I find the full is good if there's some snow on it, but if it's really nice and scraped, uh, this shower one is pretty good. It disperses the water well, or if you want to go real crazy. This flat one is pretty good. It, it sprays it out like you're painting a car. So you can kind of paint the ice really thin. You can see it kind of like spraying the snow out of the way, huh? Yeah. Right? Oh yeah, that works well. <laughs> so it's like you're kind of, you're putting a really thin layer on here. But I find with snow, it's going to kind of freeze the snow. It's not going to melt it. That's why when there's a bit of scuff of snow, I like to use the uh, the whole one because that's going to put a bit more water on it and it'll help melt some of that snow that's on top. If we do this right, we can skate on it pretty much right after we put the water down because that side will be frozen by the time we get to that side. And I have one more idea and I think this one is uh, going to work. What are you doing? I can see bumps. <laughs> I don't want to see any bumps. I say we wait until it stops snowing and we put on the ultimate treatment. I have, I have ideas. Like, look at this, see this? Look at this ripple. You see that? Do you see that? It's not acceptable. Not on my rink. Not on my rink. I'm heading to my house, so I'll figure this out. Figured if you want the best ice, you have to copy the best. So we looked what they use in the NHL and obviously it's a Zamboni, right? Well, what if we could just kind of remake that a little bit cheaper at home. That's the plan. We we're gonna build a homemade ice resurfacer. Let's go. All I got was some PVC pipe and I got this uh, little chamois thing from rinkmaster.com. You could just use a towel. Uh, it'd probably work the same, but I wanna support local. We got holes for the water to come out. Probably cost about 30 bucks at the Home Depot. Right, so we gotta paint the inside. It's just gonna keep the water from escaping. I give you the homemade ice resurfacer. We drilled some holes in the bottom. We made the uh, the joints there, the elbows. The water is going to come down here through there. It's gonna come out nice and evenly. And we're gonna use hot water as well. To get that perfect Zamboni-like finish. And I uh, even got the valve up there so you can quickly control the quick attach piece. So put the hose in. Only question is, does it work? Spared no expense, you see that? You know, for the, the turning. Ooh, we got a little, little pivot in there. <laughs> Yeah, a little quick, like, oh, let's uh, adjust a little more water, a little less water. You know, going around the corners, gonna, you know, take the water down a little. Okay, we got the flutter, we got the water supply, but to make this next level, you really want to use hot water. Uh, my tap is over there, and it's just cold water. But right here is the uh, the washer and dryer, and the wash machine uses hot water, so I figured I'd just drill in, tap into the hot water supply. Oh, what do you guys think? Oh, actually, yeah. Uh, maybe let's use the back door. I need this to go in here. Unscrew this, goes to the wash machine. Now we're in some hose. In a future video, we'll run that to the outside, but for now, you gotta take the nozzle and the hose. Oh, I know I can get you with the hose. Yeah, come on. <laughs> How confident are you in my building abilities? You think this is gonna work? Uh. It seems pretty cool. I don't see why not. It seems pretty it, good. It might explode. I mean, that's the only thing. Let's oh. just say I'll stand at the edge of the rink and watch. <laughs> the moment of truth. Does it work? Oh, we're in. Activate. Oh, we have. Oh, yeah. A little bit of leakage. Where's the leakage? Then you're... Oh, that's going to drench my gloves. I blame this swivel tool. <laughs> See, I'm, I'm getting a build up of slush. You know, if somebody could just do their job and shovel this off properly, we wouldn't have this issue. 
So I'm gonna restrict the uh, flow a little bit. Excuse me. Excuse me, professional. Professional ice surfacer. But I guess that is an advantage because it is uh, it is scraping that slush it's away. It's to the edge at least. Yeah. Right, yeah, so we could have a two-man system here where I leave this slush here for you. Thank you. You're welcome. Oh yeah, look at that flowing. Hey Mason, try not to mess up my uh, foot. There you go. Keep the hose out here. Let's see. Ooh. Okay, we are really close to getting that perfect glass-like finish. That is the best method so far. Let's see what Mason thinks. Nice and smooth. <laughs> they like it. <laughs> they like it. We do have a light snowfall, so it's giving a bit of roughness. I do think that we can do even better than this. I'm really happy. There's only one true way to test this ice surface though, and that is with a snipe off. So I'm gonna challenge Hayden. Hey, where'd he go? We got ice, so now it's time for the built bar down challenge. See what I did there, bar down challenge? All right, so it's me versus Hayden. We're gonna test this ice, and uh, today it is looking nice and slick. I'm gonna tape this there. First one to snipe it gets to eat it. Who do you think's gonna snipe it? How many shots do you think it's gonna take? Let's find out. This video is sponsored by Built Bar. They've got 18 delicious flavors. Hard to pick a favorite, but mint brownie and lemon almond cheesecake, mm, pretty delicious. I mean, I went far down, just not built far down. The texture is nice and chewy with consistent flavor, size, and texture. Hayden and I burnt through this box so quickly I had to email Built Bar and have them express ship a couple more boxes. Every Built Bar is packed with protein, and after that last shot from Hayden, looks like he could use a little. And, oh, I, I mean, I hit it. I hit it, but it, I didn't Built Bar down it. Does it have to come off the tape? I feel like it probably would if we hit it good, would it not? I just hit it. No, but I mean, like, if we hit it good. Oh, oh I hit it good. <laughs> My mistake is that I taped it on too hard. It's like, it won't come up. Oh, oh, I see, I told you I hit it. It opened at the bottom. I have to eat it like this. Ah. Let's take one more shot at it. I really want to knock it out of there. I'm just gonna like, just touch it. Just a touch. <laughs> Wing, that box oh, gone. That's for the neighbor. Oh, there we go. <laughs> solid hit, you can have the rest. Solid hit, solid hit. What flavor is this? Coconut. Mm, pretty tasty. Solid shot, Hayden. Who do you think actually won that challenge? Because I mean, technically I hit it first. So you... I knocked it off. Uh, all right, controversy, controversy. Big thanks to Built Bar for uh, sponsoring this video. Tune in to the next one where we are gonna build a skating path all the way down the hill to the rink. You're gonna be the first one to test it. See you in the next video, guys.